Cutting off the high and the magic, like you said, of training and being in there for the first time, you know, we need to move on to the training phase of the of the project. You know, I've found that from a client perspective, you need to definitely have appropriate individuals that have a level of comfort around adopting new technologies and really can evangelize or talk up the product because this will increase the chances of successful train, excuse me, a successful train the trainer methodology for the client. You know, the I know that EPMI does a train the trainer. And so to identify appropriate individuals to train is important for that end user adoption. You know, this has been part of a group effort. So energized, enthusiastic trainers that show how the new fancy system improves everyone's lives can really facilitate that user adoption. In addition to finding the correct people to train that can really spread the good news, you know, you want comprehensive documentation of the client's processes that will be valuable for future reference, particularly if steps that aren't done on a regular basis. I can think of things that, you know, maybe you only do once during every annual budget cycle or, or a step that you only do during a fiscal year in close. And so, you know, having that comprehensive documentation can really help with training and kind of the future use of the application. You know, do you find that training is always an exciting time for the client and the consultant because of the interaction? Yes, we do, um, you know, find that that part where, you know, customers will always have folks that um, find change to be hard. That's part of any implementation. Learning something new is not always easy, but I do feel that having the appropriate level of training and depending on, um, you know, the type of training it is and the content is, is very key. So there's a piece of training that we call core user training. In order to test the application, you need to be trained on, on how to use it. So there's that what we call core user training, which is often combined with UAT. And then there's the train the trainer materials, which we've seen a lot more customers use that um, because a lot of these cloud tools and processes are pretty user friendly. Um, and so not only that, the documentation is part of what we deliver on how to be able to cascade that information across the organization. And honestly, Paul, it means more coming from the internal trainers than it does from an external vendor, because you can ask internally, um, hey, how does the process of how we budget or plan and the level of detail that we're going to be held accountable for change? You know, what does that mean for my cost center? And you can really question leadership on internal processes that, you know, we always tell the client, you guys are the experts on your process, but that's key. And so we find that the train the trainer approach really works. Um, where there is often um, a misstep or just a misestimation is on the time. So you create this positive PR, you have this high you're writing off of, but then you still need to plan time to cascade that information and train users. And um, I think that needs to be a part of the pro overall project planning, even if EPMI is or isn't delivering the end user training is, you know, you know your people best, you know your user base the best what is going to resonate, what is going to stick to make sure that there's high adoption. Right. That's so important. 